Ladies and gentlemen, your official introductions for this welterweight bout. First, the fighter standing to my left in the blue corner. He is 22 years of age, stands a six feet tall, and weighed at 75.5 kilograms. He hails from Coventry and represents combat athlete with a record of 3 2 and 0, oh, Jack the Crow Hill! And across the cage in the red corner, this fighter is 22 years of age, stands at 5 feet 10 inches tall, and weighing at 75.5 kilograms. He hails from Dunedin and represents combat and exercise. He is John Robinson! This bout is held over three three-minute rounds. So here we have uh, Jack Hill from Combat Athletic versus John Robinson from Combat and Exercise. Again, semi-pro A-class rules, three three-minute rounds with ground and pound. High advantage with Jack Hill, uh, slight weight advantage goes to John Robinson. Trading shots on the feet at the moment, nothing really significant landing. Jack a left-hander, stood south for, very loose with his defence. He's trying to just glide round now, both clinching. Jockeying for position in the clinch here. Not much happening here in the clinch. Well, Jack gave away his underhook there, which... You know, he's fought for it, fought for it back. He worked for a knee. And then detached again. Shots firing in. Corner's calling, uh, calling for Jack to knee. He's not seeming to throw him. He seems to be setting them up and they're not. Don't know if there's a reason for that. Neither sort of doing anything with this clinch, really. No, it's been more of a feeling each other out. But with uh, three three-minute rounds, three minutes isn't really long enough to be uh, to be doing that. They need to be getting something going. Yeah, it's not the uh, the pace of the other um, three-minute round fights that we've seen. No, we have seen some fast-paced fights tonight. <laughs> I'd like to see John finish his takedown or um, Jack turn him and detach and let some shots go. Maybe throw, throw some knees like uh, his corner shouting. Yeah, he's putting some knees into the leg now. Detaching, decent kick got in there. Still very loose with his, his guard there, Jack. Both firing shots and then falling back into a clinch. Yeah, I think that's overstepping in with the shots, which is um, causing them to end up in a clinch. Once they're in the clinch, they, they seem to be pretty 50 50, I'd say, would you? Yeah, it's evenly matched. Uh, I think it's evenly matched in the striking by, by the looks of things as well. Um, Jack's got a very loose guard, but it seems to sort of uh, land with his shots. He's got a sort yeah. of awkward style with the, uh, with the southpaw. Ball. They tend to be these uh, <laughs> left handers. Yeah. I think it'd be nice really. to see um, Jack maybe stand off and use his range a little bit more. Yeah, and, and he's got a looser like style. I think um, he could flow with a, a few of the shots. Neither of them looking tired after that round. They, they felt each other out. I'd like to see a little bit more action in the next round. Maybe one of them needs to get the takedown. Would you say either of them looked like strikers under? Um, I don't know. I think uh, Jack's maybe a little bit 
too loose with his uh, with his defences. Uh, um, I think uh, John John's got very uh, sort of basic strike and sticks sticks to uh, just not not doing anything too spectacular, but uh, seems to get ne a few neither, shots in. Neither seems to be able to do damage to the other. They don't seem to have the power on the team. I think they're both pretty strong guys. I think they look like they can take a good shot. And uh, well, let's see where this round takes them. Jackson chin's a little bit too high. No, no, he's calling him. I think it's calling to go for two yeah, down. Nice outside down. Down. So here we have John Robinson in top position, looking to pass guard. To be honest, he's got the ankle, and I think he, he should be able to pass. Yeah, Jack settled into uh, into guard. Let's see what he can work from here. Tell, tell him John to stand and pass. Oh, and Jack's uh, used that to get a knee bar. Yeah, he's got, it's a good look. attempt at a knee bar. It's just not quite straight. I'm not. Let's get it out. Good submission attempt. John did well I to think escape. Foot caught in the uh, shorts. Foot caught in the shorts. Well spotted by the referee. It can be very painful and snap your toe. If, uh, if you move the wrong way. I think Jack could uh, work for Kimura here the way uh, John's yeah, pulling back to the ankle. He's standing to pass again. Throwing one or two headshots and not really getting through on the ground. He was raising his hips. He's, He's past guard now. Now inside, inside control. control. Let's see if we can work something from here. Maybe work some knees and look for attack for the firearm. Jack's walking his feet up the cage, so I think trying to bridge there. John's just moving into a, out of the way of the cage. To get mount. Into, nearly into that there. Good top control there. Um, Jack did a good job of avoiding uh, Mount. Back to the feet. Oh, good oh, knee, to, good the knee head. to the head. Got him in a good position for this now. He should get a few in. Yeah, he should get carry on with that. And Jack comes out firing, look at, looking a bit more purposeful with those couple of strikes he threw. Maybe throw him with a bit more anger. Oh, good, good knee now he's Jack doing there. Oh, and he jumps for a guillotine at the end of the round. Uh, how would you score that one there? Any hope of getting that? I don't know, it was a pretty 50 50 round. I think John got a decent trip takedown. Which way would you have given it? Uh, I'd have struggled to score that round, to be honest. I think it was uh, 50 50. I'd may maybe say that uh, John. Like, Dominated on the floor with uh, with like decent top position. There was a submission attempt from Jack though. The That's knee true. Bar. He went for the knee bar. It, then John escaped that submission. So uh, I don't know. It was it was we'll a leave 50, it to 50 the judges. I, I might have just edged towards John there. I, I think. Still looks kind of composed in his corner and uh, not not too tired. Jack breathing a bit heavier, looking a bit more like he's got a wet perm instead of a perm now. I think they were spraying a uh, soul glow on it between rounds. Best hope that he doesn't uh, stick to John in the next round. Maybe help him slide out of chokes.
powerful grip there. Nice takedown from John. And he passes this time straight into side control. Now we might see some work here. I think he should maybe try to attack rather than step up to Mount. Jack's obviously defending Mount quite well and using it to um, get back to his knees and back to his feet as he did in the last round. Trying to just use strength to roll him there, I think. Uh, yeah, the, the brute force at attempt. Yeah, John holding him kind of tight. He's, uh, seems to hold these top positions quite well, I think. If he can get his hips up and drive his um, right knee through into mount. I think he should work more ground and pound from wherever he is, to be honest. He's, uh, he's neglecting that so uh, that he is allowed to punch to the head. Yeah, and in fact, I'd almost forgot they are actually allowed to. He can be throwing strikes to the head from this position. I, I think I'd be constantly using that. Uh, every position that you're in, use a few strikes to to make it slightly easier to pass. Yeah, because he's got control of the forearm. Been in the top he's position all the time. I think I think should just be firing a bit. He's definitely neglecting his um, strikes from the top. Yeah, I think he I think he's remembered he's allowed to punch now. I think Jack were looking for a couple of leg locks just before. I think each time John's standing up is uh, He's spinning for him. Good rolling for another one here. That's where John should be firing the shots. And he should just keep on doing that. Clear the arms and punch. And looking for a Kimura attempt as well when he saw the elbow go out. I think Jack's got some uh, quite good ideas on the floor of what he can attempt. He's just been a little bit slow to go for them. The thumb on uh, Jack's glove flapping now. Looks like his, uh, no, his thumb's come out. It's come out there. I don't think you'll make a difference. Ten seconds left. Ten, ten seconds left, I think. Uh, I'd like to see a flurry of punches from John here just to finish the round. Show that he's dominant. Very evenly matched fight. But both guys uh, give a good account of themselves. I think, uh, for me, uh, I'd say... Uh, that fight went to John Robinson. I'd have edged it to John. Um, we'll have to see what our judges say. Uh... And over to MC Aaron Chatfield for the official decision from our judges. as a unanimous decision to your winner in the red corner, John Robinson! Put your hands together for 